welcoming the energies as they stream in listening to the beautiful birds in the background. It's the 9th of July 2020 here, Australia, Queensland, Anastasia Kompos, Blue Beyond Guide. Welcome along, take a breath as you come in because we're relieving, releasing and relieving the pressure <laughs> very much in ourselves and our human consciousness grid for the collective new consciousness grid energies that we're working with. We're newly creating anger, rage, fury, the biggest wave for me to come through to reconnect and releasing the anger, rage and fury. That's what's very palpable at the moment. So even um, morning, everybody, evening, everyone, <laughs> even if you are not completely consciously Okay, big shift's happening right now. Okay. I, I, I've been um, given a clarion call as well uh, <clears throat> with to come on more, especially with what's happening with the energies. It's There is not enough words in writing that can cover what's going on anymore. It, it, we have reached a point energetically in the feeling and the experiencing of the knowing, the gut feeling, the intuition, the knowing. And even this morning, I passed on some information to someone that also does a lot of writing. It's a Blu-ray as well. We need to write music, dance, creativity to shift our energies. I'm forever shifting energy, shifting, 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 balancing, moving energies. That's who we are. If we stay still and stagnant, it is the most unhealthiest thing for us. It, it, we become depressed and, and, and the energy becomes stagnant in our bodies. And so we need to be moving, moving, moving. And when I mirrored back some information to her from Source and the Divine, and I said, uh, it was basically the same time. She said, I went to write that this morning. I actually didn't have the words and I couldn't write it. I said, and that's why I needed to tell you, because I was just about to say, you don't need to write it because you're not able to write those words at the moment. Yes, writing is essential to link. It is the link from spirit to your human consciousness to reveal and release the subconsciousness. It's vital. Writing in ascension is prime. It's up there, pretty high up there. This is new ascension. This is, I couldn't find what I was looking for and needing for my ascension, realizing I was bringing something new and unique to the planet. Um, so tip of the spear of, we're creating a new consciousness grid of a new earth energy that we're in a new process of. And boy, oh boy, there is so much anger, rage and fury of those souls that are not wanting to feel because they're too scared. Yes, this is basics, but if you know me and <clears throat> if you don't, I will say hey to everyone that's joining in. There is always something deeper and new and more to what I share and bring through. Let me share what came this morning. And this has been included in chapter 24 of the Olivia Ascension New Ebook, The Feeling and Experiencing of the Knowing, Blue Beyond Guide Anastasia Kompos. <clears throat> and, and it's interesting is I put the following on my timeline just now before I came on because I do my private group, public page, my personal timeline. They're my three platforms publicly, energetically. There's an emotional release. See, being live, raw and real is the coughing all the time, sharing, I'm clearing the throat chakra, I'm burping to release these old emotions. Um, 
a boy's taken a lot to get here. I'm so glad I put, remember, I'm a mirror of a mirror of the divine for you to reflect back what this is for you. So for those that don't know me, that's what I do. When I talk and share, <clears throat> you will get what you need of the divine because we are past being told spoken to talk to whatever fuck off out of my face don't tell me what to do we're stubborn we're determined we're persistent we're fighters we're warriors we're quirky we are all broken we are fucking broken who is going to repair and create the new grid the ones that live yes i'm passionate it's my passion the ones that live in the bliss and the fluffy, this is not putting them down at all, okay? But that ain't gonna cut it. The fluffy bullshit ain't gonna cut it, not them, those energies, those energies. Pure divine love for all, for all. Each are going through the best that they know. So I'm needing to create a new platform because what I want and need is not out. So this is new, we are new. We are quality and not necessarily quantity what do you want do you want a few really close good base foundation friends or do you want masses of no we are about quality okay so we are the few and i had to let go of a lot <clears throat> with that with looking what was in the outs of words speaking at a conference carrying and holding the energies of every single soul there with the energies for the planet through the solar plexus that was through myself personally holding the energies for that conference i do big i don't do small i do all okay so to come back here by going out to see what was missing. We are the missing bit. We are, this is the below the iceberg that's been hidden. That's what we are. We're new ascending earth masters. And we are gathering. So thank you for coming on here today. Because fellow masters, <clears throat> this is what I wrote on my timeline. Uh, I shared a, a, the link to The High Love by Steve Winwood. Love seeing him in the late 80s, which I did. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I love the message from the words of the song as we really need to bring in and through a higher love with all going on in the world. If you feel to, please look at some of my videos shared here on the Blue Beyond Guide. I'm going to do a live shortly, which is a healing to join in and watch as many are going through a lot right now. And I'm receiving the calling to do more of these randomly as words do not cut it right now from here on as all the words have now been said and written it's now time for the feeling and experiencing of the knowing take what resonates with yourself as you don't need to fully get all i share as you will feel it no need you'll get it whatever resonates one word for you but i am not going to stop speaking from my higher vibrational level of what I'm bringing through to the planet newly, I can't stop doing that. So I've spent a long time, probably the last 15 years, consciously exploring, investigating, learning, growing, how to bring through. And I have created super masterclasses. I have a new light paradigm group 144. The invite was put out lately for those that resonate to join. There was an exchange. You get a lot from being in that area. There are <clears throat> videos on the website, YouTube. There is so much gifting. There's also exchanged ask for others. So I've just stopped now. I've just stopped. Honestly, today, new clarion call with this information. Lovely to see you all here. I see a lot of familiar names. I see some new souls names here. I'll stay in the moment in the flow. So thank you for, for, for being here. Thank you for being real and honest. Um, thank you for being here too. And I sincerely mean that. Everything is broken energetically. Did you take a moment and feel into this with me or did you go into, I know, sit with that. There's a test. 
I will test, I will give you proof, I will do lots of bits and pieces here because it's fun. Let's lighten up and have fun with it. I'll be a smart ass because we're all smart asses. Bring that side out. Let's lighten the fuck up. Bring that side out. Come on. There's so much negativity out there and they're being assholes and rude and this, that, and they get away with it. And a lot of us have been um, too anxious to speak up for ourselves because we're just these beautiful, sensitive, loving souls. I'm going to bring through a, a black obsidian um, crystal healing soon for that to help us. Okay. So listen, we have to voice up, we have to speak up. We don't like it because we don't like conflict and it's going to cause conflict with others when you do on a whole brand new layer level. Did you feel into that? And go, okay, Deja says, stays a resonance, a sharing. There's another, there's another level with this. They're nice Chinese herbs. Everything is broken energetically, every layer, every level, spirit and soul. I've just come back from my time away from my amazing, uh, oh, the sources, the divine's amazing energy video that came through on the balcony of that treasury building that I shared. Please don't miss that. It's too good. And you all keep telling me how good it is. So for you, it's really good. And yesterday, for those who are on the email list, I shared a recording of the MP4, not a visual, a voice of what I shared in the, new, in the private light paradigm group. Occasionally, I will do that. Everything is broken energetically. Did you take a moment and feel into this with me? Take a moment and feel into this with me. There is a nothingness here. And we will weave into the nothingness and then back out. And then we'll feel and transmute with someone around us and then we'll weave into the nothingness and then it's fluctuating. Okay. It's not all rainbows and sunshine and bliss 24-7. We can have that inner trust and faith and trust. I've got this. I know I've got this. I wouldn't be here if I didn't have that. And keep releasing the old surface energies because you do have this. We do have this. We have got this without knowing of the new knowing yet, let alone feeling and experiencing it. We are creating a brand new palpable physical new balance right now that has never been created before. So this is reaching deeper than beautiful soul, souls that may comment, I'm feeling the bliss and the nothingness and the nothingness feels wonderful and this, that. Well, you're not feeling the same nothingness I'm talking about and said with much love. That's a whole different one, okay? There are two different types of nothingness. The bliss and I feel so good, then the real nothingness deeper, further, below the iceberg of no centre balance as we are newly creating this. But to, before we can newly create it, we need to take stock of the past and what's just happened. Take a breath and a moment. Everything is broken energetically. Sit with that for 24 hours, one, two, three days, just that. Feel into the layers with that. Take a moment. It's no rush. You're not going anywhere. There are two and more, of course, varied levels of souls ascending of the words of the same masters, but the energies are not. The energies are not the same. It would not be the same for me to just write what I'm sharing with you here now. It would not be the same. I have written over many years, and oh gosh, started writing about 15 years ago, more publicly 10 years ago, and then seven years ago, okay? So I look at the memories that come up that flash up of past posts, and I'm still talking and writing about that now from five years ago, four, three, two, one. So we've reached a point now for me, I'm no longer able to re-repeat in that way, I need to verbally, visually, because it's a combination, so you can feel and hear my realness 
The words just do not cut it as much as the visual. Once you've had this visual, I'm coming directly from my oversoul monad through my human being. That's been a very tough challenge. I can assure you, people that say, I'm this, I'm that, listen, it takes a lot of bravery and, and guts to, 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 to be able to say some of the things that I share and say, and I don't do it as, as whatever. Being in ninth dimensional energies has been so challenging. Growing into this to be here, to share to you, coming into fifth dimensional energies by myself on my own path that I've had a lot of support, but um, it's been tough. And I've earned it. You've earned it. Stay true to you. It's your survival. Your faith and your trust right now is everything for you. It is. And the message keeps coming. I've got your back. I've got your back. You sit with that. Because I know you've got yours too. The comment of the bliss nothingness is not the nothingness I'm referring to here. I'm shining the light on the shadow. It's shining the light on underneath the iceberg and owning the underneath the iceberg shadow to then go underneath, underneath. But we'll leave that for another time. This is quality, not con quantity with you all here right now, masters in real time and you know there are polarities going on extreme polarity extreme polarity no middle center broken and still broken bits please over analysis causes paralysis at, at the moment uh, one of the videos recently in the last few was about releasing the spiritual mind over analyzing, blocking the third eye. Please be aware of this. I did it as well. Be careful of the overthinking of the spiritual mind and the third eye. A previous video did mention this. Please, I had to just gently remind another soul this morning to teach her to help her to help herself like I did because I'm living proof of what works. Hence, there's a lot of fear. A lot of people can't handle the energy of someone being real, real and authentic without criticizing in some way what's been reflected back. It's taken a long time to get here. And even this morning, the anger, the rage and the fear and the fear I had to shift to come on. But oh, I'm a bit over that bullshit of those energies, I feel, as in uh, I no longer is sinking into me. It was extremely painful last year when I first had four hours of agony of energies to come on. Uh, the 28th of December, four hours sitting in my seat of just excruciating, pushing through to bring that video on. It was just, and then it was spread into another one. This 28th of December, 9, uh, 2019. So, and then there was more, and then there was more, and then there was more, and then there was six months more gifting where I recently um, shifted the energy. Will you meet me halfway? I'm now doing my 50. I was doing 200% in helping create a new platform, voicing and speaking up firstly for the whole of the planet for myself. It's important for me to be able to share this about myself for you. Who am I going to talk to? Who am I going to tell? As I do and share everything I say and share is for a reason when I share of myself personally, it's because I'm being guided to share and reveal more for you to reflect what it is for you. It can leave one very vulnerable in doing so, but I've toughened up a lot now. I'm okay. I don't care of the criticisms because... I'm not self-conscious anymore of anything I'm bringing through because you really, really get to a point of life really is too short. So, you know, a good way to start helping yourself <clears throat> for yourself with this is record yourself on a Zoom or whatever and just talk. It's extremely challenging. It's extremely confronting. It's a bit unnerving and it takes quite a lot. So if you want to take that next step further for yourself, Record yourself talking and sharing 
and be gentle on yourself when you watch it back. Because when I first did that, it was critical. It was critical. It was critical. And I learned to be gentle on myself. Of, oh, gosh, I forgot to say that. I didn't. And in the end, I went, There's, oh, I, don't, I can't be perfect and cover everything because I'm in the flow. And I went, oh, sure, whatever. And then I was just didn't care. And then my son, he does the best imitation of me. He's hilarious because, you know, I caught off in his round. He gets it. He's used to this. He grew up, grew up with me living this, little darling in the recordings. It's, 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 a, it's a part of our life. And, and then he'll go, and um, masters, um, and I just, I'm just cracking up laughing. and he just nails me. It's just funny, you know. So it's a really good healing tool for yourself to do your own recording. Honestly, it's a crack up. So let me keep going. Whew. So what we're going to do now is I want to bring through the obsidian, black obsidian crystal. This is from the crystal vaults. See a beautiful, big, shiny black sphere of ra uh, rainbow obsidian. So that's very interesting. But what it is, is a black obsidian with a rainbow shine on it. Is what it is. I know there's a rainbow obsidian. But it's a black obsidian ball with a rainbow shine because it's light. The new consciousness grid is gold with light rainbow colors. The rainbow is massive. Um, who hasn't loved rainbow since they were younger? You know, pick me. So um, as we visualize and hold that black obsidian sphere with a rainbow sheen, we see that over our spirit, which is another us our astral cells and then our human body so bring in two one there and one here here higher heart and over the energy of visualizing another human outline of another you over your chest area as well too and feel it pulsing through you here um is another release excuse me there we go bless and the energy is starting to seep, seep in. We can also see like little water droplets. I love the water droplets because if around here is my aura, my energy, my aura. And so I, I look at it like a cleansing. It's like a, a, a plastic ball, a white, uh, sorry, a clear ball. And you've been rolling around on the grass. It's got big bits of dirt and everything. And so we're just bringing a sprinkler in, just cleanse that down and wash it down. So bring in the obsidian. It's an excellent rescue remedy for shock, traumas and blockages. And also maybe placed at the feet for anchoring during times of turmoil. It's an excellent tool for therapists and counsellors for quickly getting to the root of a problem and for absorbing energies released as a result. To shield gentle souls and those who are highly sensitive. You right here now are highly sensitive. You wouldn't be in my gentle, loving, divine kick-ass space if you fucking weren't. <laughs> This is to counter bullying in any form, whether for you or a family member. Sit with that, breathe this in because it's this is really, really big at the moment. There's a lot of bullying, anger, rage, fury, whether for you or a family member. All forms of obsidian stimulate healing of the emotional body, helping those who've lost their power to regain it by facing the darker side of one's nature caused by the wounding of one's spirit. Our spirit has also been broken, double breaking spirit and soul. Bless. I've just stopped because there it is there, what I've been saying. I just love how that works. Never ceases to amaze me, the wonders of spirit and the information coming through us being naturally linked all the time. If we don't stop and pause, there's no point in it all, is there, if you don't feel it, hey? Verbal and physical abuse, sudden trauma, grief, and events beyond one's control, what's happening with the world, can create destructive thoughts and unconscious patterns that inhibit one's personal and spiritual growth. Release, release, release. It is a basic basis for eating disorders. The eating and the food has been off the charts all over the place. That pattern is broken. Everything is broken. Every pattern is broken. Everything is broken. 
sit with that one. Everything is broken. Every routine, every pattern, everything is broken. Sit with that one and you will just see and get a bigger feel. Yeah, just that'll do. Go with that. <laughs> um, basis for eating orders, addictions, fears, insecurities, depression, aggression, there it is, other mechanisms that hold one to the past in order to survive. If we hang on to them, it's a form of control. Let go of the control. Obsidian exposes these wounds and when one is ready to accept responsibility for one's own healing, reveals the actions needed to release them. Everything's broken. It enables one to accept who they are with compassion and to move forward. Amen, Masters. What a beautiful message that was with everything else beautifully that I shared. I'll be going around the 30-minute mark again. So I will wind up over these next couple of minutes because it goes very quickly. I do want to do a dragon card, but that's not meant to be at the moment. So thank you again for joining. 44, can't make it up, as you know. How many times is it round the 44? Can jump up, 70, 80, whatever. Better than it hovers at the 44. Just beautiful. Bless you. Thank you for everything you're going through. Take a breath, ground, come in. Please remember to feel and please make sure you're not avoiding feeling that you're not a little bit detached because I'm telling you, everyone, all of you have been doing something like that and I've had to bring it to a lot of people's consciousness very lovingly and gently because we're unsure, we don't know, it's not clear. This is new, okay? This is new. This is new. You got this and I've got you and you've got me, all for one and one for all, isn't it? Okay, I look forward to sharing more soon as guided. I am open again for Divine One-on-One -on -one healings. Bookings are starting to come in already, Masters. So you will be guided as per the website. If um, Super Masterclass number four is about addictions. Um, there is an exchange for that. Please email me, theoraclespeaks at bigpond.com. If you would like more information on that, it will be over two sessions, live Zoom recording personally with me, and it will be, it will change your life and help to empower you with anything that you have an addiction with in real time because I'm living proof. So I'm going to impart that beautiful personal experience and knowledge and that needs to be valued and treasured hence asking for the exchange with that so thank you so much love you masters i hope to see you here soon bye